hello people and welcome back to my channel Ray Rex channel if you're seeing me for the first time guys you're absolutely welcome welcome to the family you're welcome 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 can you hit the subscribe button if you haven't and put on your post notification bell if you haven't as well tell a friend about Ray Rex and if you love this video can you give it a thumbs up and also share and also um drop a comment in the comment section i'd love to hear from you this video will do well if you continue to like and to help other people to see this video so guys today we're going to be making a jumpsuit like what you saw on the thumbnail and i just quickly want to show us how to take the measurements and how to cut or how to take the measurements for a jumpsuit okay now the first thing the reason why i'm in front of my mannequin is to show first um the half length and then all that has to do with it some persons make jumpsuit and then it begins to drag from the under that's because there's not enough fabric because there's not enough allowance for the body to sit in the outfit but i'm going to be showing you a quick trick or tip on how to make it and then it will fit just perfectly well now you may be wondering why i have this tied around the, the mannequin i'm very sure you're not you're, it's not new to you that the front half length is longer than the back half length for my client her half length is her back half length is shorter than the, long, the front half length with just one inch for my own self is about two inches so you have to measure it yours can be different for that of this mannequin this mannequin's front half length is about 17 and then the back the back is about 14 inches you can see that great difference so if you do not take note of this when you finish making the dress it may not tally the half length at the back might be getting to around the waistline and that's not what you want so if you cannot eyeball it while taking it on the um, client's body simply excuse the client and tie something around the waist that way you know where the front is and where the back is and as soon as you're done you can take this quickly off okay we're going to quickly go ahead and then i'll show you what i'm trying to do now for the first half length of this like i said earlier is 17 inches now i said earlier as well that we're going to be making this a jumpsuit and then the allowance which is going to which is added is going to be added to the trouser okay now remember if it were just a trouser we'll just go ahead and cut because anywhere it stays it stays around the abdomen but this measurement now is a little bit above the abdomen so we have to measure it and then to determine that um, um, what is there okay like I said this is 17 inches you're going to eyeball where the abdomen of the client is okay you eat, or you can even ask the client hello madam please where do you have your where is your um, abdomen and use your finger to um, search it okay and then when you feel it you just count as well make sure you take note for this mannequin this is where Around this point here is where the abdomen is, like what I can see, because you can eyeball it, you can actually eyeball it. Uh -huh. So when you eyeball it on the client, simply minus from what you have on your um, half length. Like I said, this is 17 inches, okay? And this right, this um, mark which I made here is about 20 and a half inches. So we just want to take this difference here. This is one, two, and three and a half. So it will, what we have for this mannequin the difference is three and a half inches so when we're cutting this trouser we're going to add up three and a half inches to the top of the trouser to make this trouser to fit perfectly if we do not have this three and a half inches it will never fit perfectly on this mannequin so guys just do as i'm saying i don't know how else to bear how else to explain this but guys this is just what you should do when you're cutting a jumpsuit so guys let us get to the cutting table and then you understand it Okay, I've gone ahead to mark out my shoulder line, that's my bust line over there, my under bust line, and then lastly, my waist line, yeah? So I'm just going to go ahead and start up my drafting as quick as possible. The nipple to nipple measurement which we're making use of is about 7 inches divided by 2, that's 3 and a half. So I'm going to add half inch to it and that makes it 4 inches. And I just marked that on my bust line and on my waist on the waistline and i've ruled it up the next thing i want to do right now is to move over to the shoulder line and then mark our shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement which you're working on is 14 inches divided by two is seven so i'm adding half inch to that measurement that makes it seven and a half i'm going ahead to mark out the neck width which i used three one quarter inch and then for the neck depth being a v-neck i'm using seven inches so i just want to rule that you can use a straight rule but i went ahead to make use of my free hand to make that so if you can do that comfortably you're free to do so you come down at the shoulder um point there and then mark, come down by one inch and then make your shoulder slope to the neck width point okay that's basically and then the next thing we want to do is to make our armhole curve now we're trying to make the um, compartment for the armhole um, you can actually use your bust measurement divided by six plus one 
inch or your shoulder measurement is 7 inches just go to the slope and then measure down 7 inches and that was what I eventually did or you can um, and then rule that out or you can basically just um, measure out I mean you can measure from your bust line upwards 2 inches that would also give you your chest line okay yes so um, moving on measure I'm measuring my um, armhole point, um, line and then I came in and got the midpoint and then came in by three quarter inch this will help us to remove bulginess from around the armhole since we're making a princess cut it has to do with the sh um, an armhole that so moving on to the underbust tightening I'm going to the underbust and I want to take out my underbust tightening I want to take out two inches though so I'm taking half one half inch on the inner on the center um, piece and then one and a half inches on the side um, pieces I hope you understand that so I'm just trying to rule that out and then I went ahead to use my free hand to make the curve towards the bust line as you can see me doing remember I said this is a princess cut um, princess cut and then the bust the um, that is going to be to the armhole so we're going to make use of our curve rule to make a line towards that midpoint on the armhole like is that as, as you can see me doing so i went ahead to mark out one inch on both sides think since we took two inches on the underbust we're taking two inches too on the armhole that which i did i took one inch on each side and i'm trying to make use of my cover to take it or make it smoothly to the bust line as you can see me doing so we're going to take out that um, piece in between that's going to be like the that we're taking off which will help us tighten around the armhole right there we'll go ahead to also extend the side um, that leg by two inches as well this is just to replace the amount of fabric which we're taking off on the armhole there okay so I'm going to go ahead to put input my uh, the measurement the bust line on the bust which is 38 inches divided by 4 is going to give us 9.5 so I'm going to add 3 inches um, side allowance for 1 inch for sewing and then 2 inches for the side seam allowance on the under bust we're working with 34 inches which gives us 8.5 I'm replacing the 2 inches that and then I'm going ahead to add my 3 inches side seam allowance I'm going to do the same for the waist the waist is 34 inches divided by 4 is 8.5 and, and then I'm replacing the 2 inches again and then adding my three inches side seam allowance the three inches is actually for one inch to join the fabrics together the two pieces together and then two inches for the side seam so i just went ahead to join that up and then i'm just going to make a curve to meet a, the that leg right there remember i said this piece the back piece is longer than the front sorry the front piece is longer than the back piece by just one inch at the beginning of the video so i'm just going to go ahead and make a curve a slight curve at the hem like what you can um you're going to see me do right now i went up by one inch okay and then i'm just going to use my free hand to smoothing that up to the dart there and that's basically all for the front piece so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this oh, all up while cutting i remember that i hadn't done the curve from here remember we took three quarter inches and we were supposed to use our curve rule to um join that up to the um, shoulder tip so that's what you see me doing so you must do that just to remove all the bulginess from the armhole area right there so let's cut On to the back piece, I've gone ahead to draft my zipper allowance, the shoulder, bust and waist line. Okay, I've gone ahead and also my shoulder slope and then the armhole, I've done all that. So I'm just going to go onto the waistline and then mark out one inch inwards to take away bulginess from the back. I'm going to make that slope towards the neck, towards the shoulder tip, the shoulder line as you can see me doing and then I replace my two inches for my zipper so I'll be taking my bust measurement from the new slope line if you can look closely um, I was emphasizing on that to measure out my bust from the 
for the new line okay our bust measurement we're using it is 38 inches divided by four that gives us nine and a half so i just mark nine and a half since i'm going to and then my waistline i'm not my waistline is going to be 34 inches divided by four eight and a half i just mark that and then adding my two inches allowance remember this is just two inches allowance there's no back that or any joining at the back so there was no need to add any of that so these days i work with the backless that even for my skirts and then my tops and it also comes out nice um we'll be going on to the neckline i came down with about two and a half inches and then i'm just making my curve to make my um my neck line curve like to shaping it up and that's basically all that we need remember i said it was 16 inches and this back piece is 16 inches in length so i'm just going to go ahead and cut while cutting remember to add half inch to your shoulder joining allowance and then to the waist joining allowance as well just half of an inch and then every other pieces you're good to go So moving on to the trouser, um, if you're conversant with my videos, I usually like to mark out half of an inch on the folded edge before cutting my trousers. This helps me to give just some allowance around the measurements. It just helps me. I don't know how, but <laughs> just do it and then you get results. Okay. And then I'm just going ahead to mark my length of my trouser. My main trouser from the waistline is about 38 inches and then at the hem there you can see my two inches um hemline okay i just marked yeah, it so right um, there i'll be moving on to add my three three and a half inches like i said which is the difference like i explained further um at the beginning of this video i'm adding three and a half inches to the top of the trouser just at the top right there okay remember i said this was for the difference this is actually um a um jumpsuit okay so it's a must we have to do this now the next thing we want to do is to take our hip measurement divided by four and that is 40 divided by four 10 inches i just marked it from the 38 inches and not from the three quarter three and a half line okay from the 38 inches i just did that 10 inches downwards remember now i'm marking my hip line which is eight inches from that same line okay not the topmost line there are two lines right there maybe i just have to um label this line so that we don't get confused though the fabric has so many colors okay but the first this second line i just drew right now is the hip line so on the hip line on the waistline rather which is the three and a half inches okay i'm just trying to um <laughs> label it right now so that we don't get ourselves confused that's the difference this next line is the hip line and then this one is the tie line where we're going to put the hip and the tie measurement and then that last one is the length the bottom of the trouser so we're trying to take out um um the knee measurement you might want to measure this on your client or better still take the measurement from the tie line to the hem this bottom line right here and then whatever you get divide it by two and then come up by three inches i just did that and my own measurement was 11 inches so it's 28 divided by 2 14 minus 3 11 inches so i'm ruling that out and that's going to be my round knee my knee line rather now remember we took we got 10 inches for our hip line and on a usual we're supposed to make a box like kind of thing <laughs> with our hip so i'm marking my 10 inches on the three inches three and a half inches that's the topmost right now please don't get confused just watch what i'm doing i'm marking on my topmost and then on my tie line 10 inches and then i'm ruling that down to my knee my tie line 10 inches which is 40 our hip divided by four i'm going ahead to mark my tie measurement the tie measurement i'm working with for this is um 24 inches and then divided by two is going to give us 12 i just marked that my tie measurement i'm going to mark that 12 inches on my round knee on my knee line and then on the bottom right there and i'm making a straight line just to help me um get my lines correctly and then also centralize my measurements please follow me so that you don't get confused okay don't you don't get confused i'm trying to i'm doing this this is just to help you to centralize if you're going to make um, a palazzo just leave it like this and cut out you don't have an issue 
So on my round knee, my knee round knee measurement I'm working with is 17 inches, and then 17 divided by two is eight and a half. Eight and a half minus 12 inches, which we have there, is about one four inches. So I'm taking out two inches on each side okay that's what i just did and then i repeated the same thing for the bottom i wanted it to just be a straight trouser so i'm centralizing my measurement if you check the in between those two marks i did is eight and a half and that will give us 17 inches so i'm trying i'm going ahead to join this line to my hip line i'm joining the knee to the bottom and then from the knee downwards upwards to the tie line if you don't understand anything i'm saying please watch <laughs> please watch english is not easy okay just like i'm doing just go ahead and then follow suit and you will get the desired result so go ahead and use your your free hand and make your crotch curve right there from your um hip line to the tie line make a curve right there um the next thing i want to do is the waistline our waist that we're working with is um, 38 inches and then 38 divided by 2 divided by 4 is 9 and a half inches and then right there we have 10 inches remember that we have 10 inches there so what we just need on both sides is about quarter quarter just small small if the waist was smaller it would have been a lot more visible so we're going i'm going to make use of my roof check you'd find out that you're trying to i'm only trying to centralize my measurement so i'm going to rule out from one mark to my hip line and from then the other line the other mark to my hip line so this is basically all that we need if you have this you're good to go for your jumpsuit so we're going to just cut this all up and then we'll move on um let's go ahead to cut so we'll be cutting and then remember look at what i'm doing closely i'm leaving half inch allowance on the left part on the left part which has the hip line the hip you can see what i can do not on the part where you have the crotch okay i'm leaving half inch allowance on that side on the top i'm also giving about a half inch but on the inside i'm cutting directly on the line please take note of this I'm cutting directly on the line I'm going to go to the bottom again and then you can see I'm cutting directly on the line and then if you just do this guys you get the exact results as a wrap for the front and then we'll go ahead to fold up for the back so we just I just place the front piece on another folded edge that was folded into two rather for that piece into two and then for this back piece you do not need to extend the top by anything you don't need it it's going to be same and then on the tie line okay i just extended the lines on the tie line on the knee and then on the bottom the hem okay on the tie line i'm going to be um extending that line by two and a half inches and then on every other part i'm going to make it two inches i repeat two and a half inches on the crotch line but on the round knee i'm making it two inches this is going to be our sewing allowance and then for the bottom as well two inches for the waistline okay around the waistline is still same two inches see i'm going to take two inches round till i get to about the crotch line area you can see what i'm doing i marked the two inches and then i'm going to use my free hand to just make a little curve to meet up with the dotted lines i made that was quite easy for the back piece you don't have so much work to do then we join up the lines from the hem to the knee line and then we're going to just join it up as you can see that's all so we're going to go ahead and cut this beauty all up i'm following the front um piece just exactly where i have the half inch allowances i'm just going ahead with it as well and then for the back piece same as well as the front but when it gets to the allowance point i'm going to mark on the line I'm not giving any sort of allowance i'm going to mark on the line on the two inches line till i get to the crotch that's which is the tie line and then i'm going to just go ahead and mark it all up like so guys i believe i'm trying to be very detailed in this video even if this fabric is not giving but i hope you understand what i'm saying and what i'm doing so I've, i'm done cutting this up and then these are my pieces this is my center front piece my side um front piece as well as my um back 
um, pieces for the top okay and then the trousers so i'm just going to go ahead and cut up the lining for each of these pieces and then i'll show you what i've got yeah so i've gone ahead to cut out my pieces my lining for each of these pieces this is the side front and then this is also the center front so i'm just going to pick out my main fabric i'm not ironing any sort of interfacing to this i want this to be very light i'm going to sew with half of an inch so this is my back piece i'm going to sew the neckline and the sides the trouser I'm just going to um, sew up all my pieces with about half of an inch um, with my seam so I'm just going to go ahead to the machine and then sew this all up yeah so I'll just go ahead sew up the neckline the sides the trouser and every part that needs to be joined and then um, we'll get a beautiful piece Finally, this is what our pieces came out to look like. This is the front piece. I just placed um, the fabric on that to um, give the bust area some shape because remember, I did not put any sort of underlining um, in between the dress, in the, in the fabric rather. So I'm just going to go ahead, take my measurement for my bust, my waist, take that of the back, and then I'll join them up with the necessary size allowances. But while I was sewing, I was so forward. <laughs> I forgot myself, I got carried away and I already sewed a pocket. I cut the pocket and then sewed for only one side of the trouser. When I when I remembered, I, I thank God I stopped at just one. So this is the pocket for the second, wow, looking for the second piece of the pocket. And um, ah, well, finally I got it. And um, if you're not new to the channel, I've cut out pockets several times okay but if you don't know how to cut this what i just did was to place my hand like what you can see and then i cut out um, a piece okay so going forward um i just i'm opening up this fabric and then remember our three and a half inches which is about the um, difference remember the difference is at the top like towards the half length so it'll be too high to place your pocket in there so you just measure down your Three and a half inches or better still four inches four inches downwards from the top of the trouser and then what you see me doing i'm trying to loosen up to about let's say 10 inches downwards just so that i can have access to the sides all right now i'm closing it all up so that we can understand what i'm doing now we're going to measure down from the top three and a half inches like what you can see me do and that's where our pocket is going to start from so i'm just going to quickly pin down my pockets to the side of the trouser that's how we're going to make it now i'm trying to um, mark out and um, show you my the back side of the fabric now your pocket is supposed to face front side of the pocket fabric to the front side of the trouser like what you can see me do and then you see how the pocket is facing downwards okay the curve is facing downwards that's how it's going to look so i'm pinning down okay to one point and then i'm going to pin over to the pin also on the other piece which is the back side of the trouser okay i hope you understand what i'm doing or what i'm saying if you don't check out my other video on the shots i made okay i'm not sure i did the pockets on that shot but i think this is detailed enough if you follow keenly you don't get this okay so here's what our trouser looks like this is what it is and then you can see i sewed i joined it with um half of an inch from the front straight up to the under joining and then four inches after four inches towards the back piece and then left the remaining part for the zipper allowance so i'm just going to open as a turn over to the back so that we can see so this is the front piece i mean the front side this is the back side of the trouser but the front pieces okay so i sewed half of an inch down to the crotch line and then four inches upwards towards the back that i stopped right there okay having in mind that the other part is going to be for the zip so this is what the top looks like i've gone ahead to shaping it to the measurement of the 
um, for my client. So I'm just next thing I want to do is to um, join with the waistline with half of an inch. Sorry, I didn't know my camera stopped recording and I already finished um, cutting out the sleeve. So I'm going to use this piece of fabric here to show us what I did on how to cut the umbrella um, sleeves. Okay, like a flare sleeve. So I'm just going to fold with the length of the the length the desired length of top which you i want to use now let's say 11 inches and then i fold into two as well again to make sort of like a square so i'm measuring my 11 inches from the folded edge there then holding it in place and then making like um a quarter circle like what you can see me do okay i already done this on my main fabric i didn't know my phone wasn't recording and i had already cut out the two um sleeves so i just went ahead to cut it out and then if i open this up you see a full circle i'm going ahead to notch the midpoint okay this is actually a half circle open it up entirely will give me a full circle and then because it's an umbrella sleeve i'm going to be making my armhole on one part exactly as what you can see me doing now on this part that i'm making this curve it's actually going to be the circumference of your armhole so either the second first of the dress which i've already made and you measured so this is basically all that i did it was just about a minute in for when i cut out for the ankara so i'm sorry i cut that out and this is what it looks like okay i'm so sorry my phone wasn't recording thank god i found out on time so you didn't miss much i just did that on the lining and then we're moving on to um, attach this so i've gone ahead to attach my um sleeve to the top um to the dress actually and this is what it looks like i had some little excess excess so i made it um i had to um gather it at the tip of the shoulder there so the last thing left for me to fix here is the zipper and then i can see with my um the crease okay my zipper allowance which you can see also so when you get to the waist like what you see me gesturing there we're going to make like a v kind of um sewing from the waistline we're going to sew into half of an inch if you usually watch my video on my trousers that's how i go about it so that's all for today's trouser and jumpsuit and here's what our final look is like so guys if you enjoyed this video kindly give this video a thumbs up and then um share this video comment say something about it and stay glued to this channel rex channel until i see you on my next one bye